Hey guys, Guns Football here, back with another video. And today's video is um, we're back with another week of the Premier League predictions for game week 24. Well, the Wolves match review um, video has uh, the Wolves match review video versus Southampton. And my thoughts on that game is out now. So if you haven't checked that video out, go and check that video out because that is absolutely really good. Today I will be including the predictions for Jacquard and like I always do and sharing them with everybody. Today I am wearing the Borussia Dortmund jersey. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts are on it guys. Tell me what you think of the kit in the comments below. That would, that would be absolutely appreciated. Right then guys, let's get straight into the video then. The first game is Leicester versus Liverpool. Well, Leicester got a 0-0 draw against us last week. And it was a fairly equal match. Well, Liverpool are 4-1 to Man City. I don't think Liverpool win the title now. I think Klopp's come out, even Klopp has come out and said the Liverpool manager. He said, top four is our main aim now, which suggests... He knows that you're not going to win the title. He knows that Man City are probably going to win it. I think Leicester can cause an upset here. I'm going to say Leicester 2, Liverpool 0. So on to the ne next. And by the way, Leicester are through to the next round of the FA Cup, uh, FA Cup after beating Brighton 1-0 and it went to extra time. I'll just to tell you who... Um, Leicester have got in the next round because the draw got made after the FA Cup. Give me a, 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 get the draw got made for the FA Cup last night after the Wolves versus Southampton game before the Barnsley Chelsea game. But um, Leicester will take on Manchester United in the next round. So right to uh, so right to, so I said two 0 to Leicester. So right to the next game now, which is Crystal Palace versus Burnley. Well here. Crystal Palace, they have got, a, they have been doing a little bit better recently. Where Burnley have gone off it re recently, recently losing two 0 two nil to Bournemouth in the FA Cup as well. They were in good form now that you've gone off it. Here, I can't see much to separate these two teams. I can't see a winner, so I'm just going to go for a simple one-one draw. So Palace one, Burnley one. So on to the next game now, which is Man City versus Spurs. This will be a very interesting one. Man City are, are unstoppable at the moment. 14 or 15 games and beaten. I think they most have done the all, all. I think they won all of them, I think. Spurs, they're not consistent enough in my opinion. Apart from beating West Brom, they've been pretty rubbish recently. Well, they played okay against Everton the other night. They drew 4 4 in normal time, then they lost 5 4 in extra time. So, what a game. That was an 8, a 9 goal thriller. 8 goal thriller in the normal time of the game and a nine goal thriller throughout including extra time as well. Here I can see an all win for uh, Man City but I don't think it'll be an easy game for them though. I'm gonna say Man City two, Spurs one. So right to next game now which is Brighton versus Villa. Well Brighton Brighton are in really good form actually. Do I think they'll survive? I think they will survive for another year like they always do again. Brighton are a good team. They just don't get the results they need. So now, um, well, they, just get knocked, they just got knocked out of the FA Cup, but on league form, they're five games unbeaten with three wins and one draw. And both of the, one of the two of their wins came against Spurs and Liverpool. The surprise Liverpool at Anfield they did. Like Burnley did this season. Yeah, well, on to, on to Villa now. They're, I hate to say it, but they are actually on a good season this year. Everyone predicted predicted them to be down there at the, bottom, at the bottom again. But the signings they brought in are pretty good. hate to say it, though, because I hate Villa. Uh, yesterday, when we had British gas out doing some night job for us, the man who was doing the job was actually a Villa fan. He said to me, uh, are you a Wolves fan? I said, yes. He, I said, do you like, do you support football then? He said, yes, I support Villa. That was interesting. He was a nice man though, so I let him off. 
So, so right, to next game now. Uh, right, I haven't told you the prediction for the Brighton and Villa game. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's gonna be a one-one draw. Brighton one, Villa one. So right, to next game now, which is Southampton versus my team Wolves. Well, of course, Southampton beat us last night in the FA Cup fifth round, two 0 win. Danny Ington give it to Armstrong with the goals. Southampton will be up for beating us again. On to us now. Obviously, like I just mentioned, Southampton did beat us. Pretty disappointing result. Even if we would have beaten Southampton last night in the FA Cup, I, st I still wouldn't have felt confident going into the game away at St Mary's in the league, though. But yeah, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm just going to say, Southampton 2, Wolves nil. But you just never know, though. But we just got to do something for this game, the game on Sunday, though. Just not feeling it. Except, if we put out a strongest liner, we might stand a chance. We would have stand a sort of chance last night if we'd put our strongest line of help. So I think Nuno's trying to save his team for this upcoming game. So right guys, on to the next game now, which is West Brom versus Manchester United. West Brom is sorely going down now. Here, I just can't see anything but a Manchester United win. So I'm just going to say, West Brom nil, Man United 4. So right, to the next game now, which is Arsenal versus Leeds. Well, both of these teams, just to let you know about Man United, they made it through to the FA Cup, FA Cup quarterfinals last night, and they'll be taking on Leicester away. So right, to the next game now, which is Arsenal versus Leeds. These two teams met last season in the FA Cup where Arsenal won 1-0. I think it would be a pretty interesting game because well, Arsenal are slightly out of form where Leeds have got it back going again now. So here, I'm going to say Arsenal 2, Leeds 1. But I think Leeds could get a point though. But I've just gone 2-1 Arsenal because I'm just not too sore here. So right, so the next game now which is Everton versus Fulham. Well, Everton are through to the next round of the FA Cup after a um, 5-4 win, win and a 9-goal thriller against Spurs in the FA Cup fifth round. Let me just look at Everton's recent form, though. Uh, which is, I'll tell you all now, in the league, the two games been beaten... The recent game was against was in the league was um, a free free draw against Man United, a last minute goal. Well, Fulham they're just struggling for points and wins here. Except the when they only pick up points, it's draws all draws all on the board. So I can't see anything but an Everton win. So I'm going to say Everton three, Fulham one. So right on to the next game now, which is West Ham versus Sheffield United. West Ham are on course. They're having a great season this year. Everyone expected, predicted their look to run out after the recent relegation battle since moving new ground. And they've come out and surprised everyone this year. The main aim to, to go to London Stadium for Europa League and Champions League nights. Well, they haven't hit that just yet, though. Let's for United. They've actually been doing good. They got through in the FA Cup last night to quarterfinals after a win over Bristol City, and they'll be taking on Chelsea away in the next round. So they're going for a good FA Cup run this year because they know that they're going to get relegated. To Sheffield United's five, I just don't think so. But nothing's ever impossible. You just don't know. But with teams like Bur Burnley now doing uh, Burnley now do looking to survive. Brighton now in good form. I just think there's no way back for for Sheffield United now. So here I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say West Ham won, Sheffield United nil. So right to the next game now, which is Chelsea versus Newcastle. But of course Chelsea just great past Barnsley in the FA Cup fifth round last night with just a scraping pass for the one 0 win. But Chelsea's league form is actually pretty good since Tuchel's come in, so I can't see anything but a Chelsea win here. Well Newcastle. 
they've now got Callum Wilson out to six to eight weeks now. He's been their best player this season with ten goals. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Chelsea two, Newcastle nil. So right guys, let's, let's get on to that's the end of my predictions now. Let's get on to the guest predictions now, Jack Harding. Right, right. Uh, he got uh, round right his predictions now, which are Leicester one, Liverpool two, Crystal Palace one, Burnley one, Man City two, Spurs nil, Brighton two, Villa two. Southampton 1, Wolves 1, West Brom 0, Manchester United 5, Arsenal 0, Leeds 2, Everton 1, Newcastle, Everton 1, Fulham 2, West Ham 1, Sheffield United 1, and Chelsea 2, Newcastle 0. Usually when he sends me through the predictions when I'm speaking to him, he always writes in the predictions about Aston Villa, he always writes, he always puts... Aston Vile down. This time he's actually put Villa, Aston Villa down. Is he feeling all right? I don't know. So right, guys, that will be the end of the Premier League prediction video now. So if you didn't enjoy, today, if you did all enjoy today's video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Bye, everyone.